It's Billy the Beard with the Sports Profits, and I'm here to bring you a few game breakdowns. Now, make sure you watch these entire videos because I'm going to be bringing you a Thursday night play between the Commanders and the Cowboys, a Thursday night play between Mississippi and Mississippi State, and I'm even going to throw you that Black Friday special. We have the Dolphins and the Jets. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Do not be shy. Get down in those comments. Let us know what you think about these game breakdowns. Whether you agree or disagree, we want to know what you think. Go ahead and make sure that you give us a thumbs up if you like our content. You want to show support, hit that like button. Most importantly, turn on that notification bell so you're always informed. We're going to kick it off with a college football matchup Thursday, November the 23rd when we have the Mississippi State Bulldogs playing the Ole Miss Rebels at Davis Wade Stadium. This kickoff is on Thursday, November the 23rd. It is scheduled for 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. The Rebels, they come into this game with a 9-2 record. They average 36.5 points a game. They have 50 touchdowns on the year. They're putting up 469.1 yards of total offense, and they've only turned the ball over seven times. Um, the opposing defenses have got the quarterback for 24 sacks on the year. And when you look at the defensive end of things, this team's only allowing opponents to put up 23.7 points per game. They're giving up 378.2 yards of total offense per game. Opposing quarterbacks are completing 61.6% of their passes, and they've given up 32 touchdowns on the year. This defense has forced 16 total turnovers, while accumulating 33 sacks. Shout out to the Freemasons. Now, the Bulldogs, they have a five and six record for the year. They average 23.2 points per game. They are averaging 330.9 yards of total offense per outing. They've accumulated 26 touchdowns on the year. They have turned the ball over 14 times. When you're looking at the defense, the Bulldogs, they're giving up 27.5 points per game, 354 point five total yards of offense per game and they've given up 33 touchdowns key number there guys now this defense they have forced 13 turnovers they have accumulated 26 sacks so not too shabby now the total for this game when you're looking across the board i'm seeing it at 55 and a half in most places and if the last five games between these two squads is going to be taken into consideration the total it's it's gone under in each of those five games right we have Ole Miss they clearly have a better offense but they're going to be playing against a very good pass defense so keep that in mind we don't expect too many down the field bombs we think that this is going to be one of those low scoring rivalry games again I'm seeing 55 and a half at MGM guys we're rolling with the under we have Ole Miss Rebels Mississippi State Bulldogs under 55 and a half available at Bet MGM lock it and clock it Let's take things over to the NFL. The traditional Turkey Day game Cowboys will be playing. Um, and Thanksgiving is upon us. So that means we're going to be headed to AT&T Stadium. The Dallas Cowboys, they're going to host division rival Washington Commanders in this NFC East matchup. And the Commanders, they're coming into this game with a 4-7 and seven record. They average 21.5 points per game, 340.7 yards of total offense per game. They have scored 26 touchdowns on the year. Now, they have turned the ball over 21 different times. They have 12 interceptions, 9 fumbles. Quarterbacks got sacked 51 times this year. The defense, they're ranked 32nd in the league. They allow 27.7 points per game. They are conceding 258.5 pass yards. That's 30th in the league. They are giving up 114.3 rush yards per game. That's 21st in the league. And the opposing quarterbacks, they're throwing at a 63.2% completion percentage rate. This defense has managed to force some turnovers. They have 13, and they've gotten a little bit of pressure. They have 24 sacks. Now, the Cowboys, on the other hand, they just took a victory against the Carolina Panthers last time they were on the field. They come into this with a 7-3 record. That's good for second place in the NFC East. Currently, they average 30.2 points per game. That's second in the league, folks. Um, they're averaging 372.3 yards per game. They have put up 28 touchdowns, and they've mitigated the turnovers to only 10. Seven interceptions, three fumbles. On the defensive end, 
They are limiting teams to 17.5 points per game. That's good for fifth in the league. They are allowing 266.3 total yards of offense. 157.1 have come from the past. That's good for second in the league. And they're 15th in the league with 109.2 rush yards against. This team has only given up 21 touchdowns on the year. They have four 16 turnovers, all while getting to the quarterback 26 times, recording that sack. Now, the Cowboys, they've actually been playing pretty well lately on both sides of the football. They're currently averaging over 370 yards of offense per game, and they're going to be playing the worst defense in the league at home. Now, Sam Howell, this guy can sling the ball around. Um, one of my friends, uh, quarterback armchair, he likes that guy. I think he drafted him in fantasy. This guy can put some points on the board, so don't be wary because their defense is not that great. This is going to be a classic Thanksgiving shootout to make sure that we all stay awake when we got the turkey coma coming in. Guys, this one's a no-brainer. We are taking the Dallas Cowboys, Washington Commanders, over 48 and a half right now that's available at caesars guys 48 and a half at caesars with the cowboys commanders over lock it and clock it now we're gonna slide over to a black friday special we have the miami dolphins traveling to metlife to face the new york jets friday november the 24th this is going to be a 3 p.m eastern standard kickoff Dolphins are coming into this with a 7-3 record. That's good for first in the AFC East. They average 30.5 points per game. They are averaging 434 yards of total offense per game. 291 come from the pass. That's first in the league. 143 come from the rush. That's second in the league. So this is a team that's putting yards up, and they've managed to score some touchdowns as well. They have 39 on the year. They have, however, turned the ball over 16 times. And they've gotten less pressure than normal. There's been 15 sacks for the year. I know coming into the season, um, protecting Tua was a key that they needed to fix. And it looks like they, they've done a better job. Defensively, this team, they're allowing 23.8 points per game. They give up 319.8 yards per game and are allowing quarterbacks to throw a 67.9% completion percent. They're holding rushers to 3.8 yards a carry. They have forced 12 turnovers. We got seven picks, five fumbles. Um, we saw Ramsey came back, got a pick. This guy's going to maybe turn the defense up a notch. Now, they have accumulated 31 sacks, so defensively, they're getting some pressure. They're getting some turnovers. And we have this Jets team that's coming into this game with a 4-6 and six record. That's third place in the AFC East. They're only averaging 15 points a game. Um, that's 30th in the league, 270.3 yards a game. They have scored nine touchdowns this year, six from the pass, three from the rush, but they do have 18 turnovers, eight interceptions, 10 fumbles, and they've allowed 40 sacks on the season. Um, obviously, we saw what happened to Aaron Rodgers. Zach Wilson's in there now, and we'll see how they manage. This defense, they are allowing opposing offenses to score 20.4 yards per game, 178.7 pass yards per game. That's good for seventh in the league, guys. Um, and they have surrendered 17 touchdowns on the year. They have managed to turn receive 16 turnovers. They've forced four fumbles that they've recovered and 10 interceptions, all while accumulating 26 sacks. So this is going to be an interesting game. We have a top passing offense in the league going against one of the best passing defenses in the league. And although the Miami team, they're clearly the more talented of the both, we have Tua, who is probably going to have a, a tough time against this defense. The Dolphins, they're going to look to establish that rush, and that's going to take a lot of time off the clock. So we have the Jets, who have proven that their offense is disappointing, to say the least. And their passing game, they've only averaged 175 point yards passing per game, right? So this is going to be a run-heavy game. Run, run, run the clock. Right now, I'm seeing this line posted one four, under 41 at MGM. So, guys, again, the Miami Dolphins, the New York Jets, under 41 points posted at BetMGM. Lock it and clock it.